I don't think we need an inner corner. Yeah, we certainly don't need it in the corner for this. Like, I'm trying to, like, do the most and, like, put so much things on my eyelids. But we're not, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Hey, guys. Did you know I come back to my channel? Did you even did you even catch my name? Did they even catch my name? <laughs> oh my god! Again. Hey guys, this is Jeannie. Welcome back to my channel. Or hi if you're new. So today I'm here with a makeup review. I feel like I have. When, when's the last time I even did one? Like, 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 like four months ago. Like I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you want to see my proper ever first makeup review, I'll put it in like at the top, whichever side it comes on. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Tammy X Revolution collection. Um, I know she's done a quite a few collections with them and they have all looked really, really bomb, but this is the first I've ever um, bought from, actually, this is the first I've ever bought from Revolution, like a collection, like somebody, you know, like a collaboration. But Makeup Revolution was one of the first makeup brands I ever actually bought from when I was starting to do eyeshadow. So like, you know, like they've, like, they've come a long way. Girl, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Are you, you are not gonna believe. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. So I bought the whole collection, which included an eyeshadow palette, um, face palette, and lips as well. The lips are not in here, guys, because I broke the box, and so, <laughs> I'm so not ready for this intro. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so if you guys wanna see how I got this look and how I achieved this beautiful, gorgeous eye, like, I'm sorry, this is the fra this is my favorite I've ever done. Like, oh my god, oh my god. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then continue to watch. And I'm gonna go now whilst past me comes and she just does all the work right now. Cause yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've already primed my skin, but I had to put my glasses on because yes this is blind we are going to be reviewing the um tropical twilight collection from tammy she is so like she's gorgeous but also um i started following her she was one of the first people i started following when i started doing makeup back in like 2017 2018 2018 and um yeah i had to get this so i have the face palette which includes a highlight bronzer blush and contour guys i've i've like jesus christ i can't speak properly today i really can't speak properly today i'll probably cut this out but honestly i've tried to say this two times already um i also have the lip kit which came with two lip glosses and a lip liner and then obviously the bad boy of the show actually the all the, the to be honest i'm gonna give them all that shine today <laughs> this palette looks gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i can't wait to use this palette um also the packaging oh my god the packaging is Oh my god, the colours, the colours look so good. Okay, so um you guys know I start off with the eyes anyways. Um, I've already done my brows and I've already primed my skin. Period. <laughs> Oh my god oh my god oh my god if you don't know i always like to set my um primer with some translucent setting powder because my skin gets really oily so i'm gonna just do that and then we're gonna start the eyes i forgot to color correct oh my god you know what at this point <laughs> at this point i'm a failure <laughs> I'm such a failure. No, I'm joking. Brows are done, lids are done, everything's done. Okay, so the palette consists of 28 shades. It also retails for £20 on the Make Revolution website. Um, right now, as I'm filming this as well, they also have a three for two. So if you want to buy all three of these, then you can get it for the price of two period <laughs> so in the description tammy said the colors in my tropical twilight eyeshadow palette will allow you to create the perfect dawn till dusk looks with a beautiful selection of neutral and colorful shades now that's something that did pop up to me was the fact that it had really nice deep shades that i know are going to work on my skin tone and it's not going to look ashy god please i hope i'm right <laughs> but I, they they look deep and they look really good for um deeper skin tones and on top of that the colorful because i love a good colorful moment sweetie like i love doing that's what got me into doing eyeshadow you know creating all these colorful looks so the products i'm using as well are also cruelty free and vegan love that it's so stunning like i actually can't like it's like i'm lost for words like the pressed pigments as well look so good you can see what i mean when i say you know there's deep shades here but there's also some good transition shades for lighter skin tones and then you have all the colors and a lot of these colors as well are colors that i've never seen in palettes before even though there's been so many palette releases like 2019 20 girl <laughs> but um the palette looks gorgeous okay guys so i just completed one eye off camera because i wasn't really sure what look i was going for i just knew what kind of colors i wanted to choose and i'm actually quite pretty like happy with this like i like this this is really giving me fun sort of carnival vibes so i'm here for it i'm really here for it um i did if you can't tell um i did 
take a break and had some food and then got back i had to collect my thoughts because my head was all over the place for whatever reason today i just have not really been in the right headspace to film but we're here so we're not going to be bothered about that so the first shade i'm going to use is dusk which is this really beautiful yellow in the palette i didn't think it was going to turn out this vibrant but i'm not complaining and i really thought it was going to be darker it's actually like turned out to be a really nice yellow shade let me just go in here because she's looking like she's depleted i'm just gonna feather out the end as well of each color so that i can really create that so i can create that nice this spot is distracting me like tell me you guys see this spot i know you guys see this spot like i woke up and she was just there she was like good morning and i was just like a bite <laughs> but anyway um i'm just gonna blend this the edges out so i can create a really good gradient which now i'm gonna pop on the shade sunrise which is the shade right next to dusk this palette is is really giving what it's giving up like <laughs> it's giving me summer i'm just gonna overlap those colors as well by the way if you want to know what brushes i'm using i'm using beauty bays brushes and then we're just gonna follow up with the shade true love this is pigmented 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 oh my god <laughs> oh this palette you know what i'm so happy because like every time i do like a colorful look i'm always using the james charles palette because like that's literally the only palette i have with like all variety of colors in there to use but i'm happy that like i finally have a new palette to use like wow wow this already looks nice like this anyways. Like, imagine if I just left one like this. Should I do that? Should I be weird and just leave one like this? Or is that going to look incomplete? Okay, I won't do it today. I'll do it another time. <laughs> okay, the reason why I wasn't so bothered about the way I cut the crease is because I'm going to cover it up with this line anyway. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is Firefly. This shade, okay, I probably had a picture of it anyways, but I just really want to show it on camera. This shade, like, when you tilt it, it looks so green. But it is gorgeous it is such a gorgeous shade honestly my heart my heart right now i've never seen a shade so goddamn beautiful like these like i never have by the way because i'm i cut that clip out because i had to redo this look again i don't know if you can tell but this these products like move inside um the pan so they are like really pressed glitters um that's what you call them pressed pigments pressed glitters it's worth it oh my god it's gorgeous it's such a gorgeous shade so i'm just gonna pack this on my lid oh my god i don't know how it's gonna show up on camera you know what you know what if it shows up on camera different just follow my um page my makeup page a little bit of a plug right there <laughs> And then um, you guys will get to see exactly what it looked like on when I took my pictures because I need this to show up exactly how it is in real life. Like this. Oh my god. Makeup Revolution really did something. The quality of this. What? And I love it because even though like it, it has that texture, it doesn't look chunky and like weird, you know? Like it looks good. <laughs> That's what we want. We want to look good, sweetie. I'm going to go in with a brush, just a flat brush, and I'm just going to go carefully around the edges because i don't want to get the glitter like moving too far up on my eyelid that's what we're gonna do sweetie what do you do baby okay let me stop <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see but that's why i wanted to do the white line because i feel like it looks it makes it look a lot more clean to me it just looked really bland i needed something to make it pop so i thought you know what helps to make things pop a little bit of a white eyeliner sweetie so, so that's what we did that's what we did the white eyeliner i'm using is the collection fast drug eyeliner i got this from super drug so if you have any suggestions on what good white eyeliners there are out there on the market let me know please please affordable like nothing like 50 pounds for white eyeliner. like i mean i swear to god there's literally glitter like all on my face but i have i just have a feeling this glitter's not gonna come off by me just brushing it off so if there's gonna be glitter on my base just consider it part of the look like honestly like i meant to do it you know <laughs> you know what this looks nice like this but i'm gonna have to be, make both eyes symmetrical so let me not even this always happens you know i start thinking about other things i could have done with the look but it's too late <laughs> you know what i don't know what it, i'm you know what i love this shade so much i can feel myself getting sad already when it starts to run out because i know i'm gonna keep using this shade like i might as well just go and buy me another palette already because i might as well just stock up <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, just a quick stack up. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go back into True Love and blend the purple in. I actually was going to originally add 
this is so pigmented you guys seen that right you seen that you actually seen it you seen it live in the flesh okay you seen that like don't oh my god oh my god and look there's still pigment here like it won't leave don't leave me yeah don't leave me don't leave me are you seeing the lids are you i hope you guys are seeing the lid i, I really hope so like i actually hope you can tell I'm in awe right now. Like, I'm genuinely, genuinely in awe. Because I've never, I don't think I've ever dabbed my brushing really lightly in a shade. And then it all just came out like that. Oh, my God. Okay. The foundation that I'm going to use is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the shade. What shade is this? I think it's Walnut, is it? Or Deep Walnut? It's Walnut. Girl, the whole, the whole time it was on the lid and I just couldn't see it. I really just couldn't see. Is it me or is this foundation scented? It is scented, right, guys? <laughs> like, I'm acting like people can actually answer me right now, but I swear this is scented. Girl, why is it always that one hair that is just like, oops, and it just goes right on your face when you're trying to do something important? Stop! I really need a good little highlight underneath my eyes right now, so uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm convinced that like, okay, I think I should have known that already. But like when you use a matte foundation and a matte primer, everything else just goes like, like dries really quick. Okay guys, so we're back. I just did my foundation, concealer, and I've set under my eyes. If you wanna know what I use, I just use the Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer in the shade Deep Cool. So I use the Alligo Pro concealer in the shade Toffee. And then the NYX Born to Glow concealer. There's a lot of concealers I used. So yeah. And then I just set under my eyes with some Fenty Beauty um, powder in the shade Honey and Laura Mercier powder in medium deep so now we've got the next star of the show is the face palette this is the golden hour face palette so this is for the deeper um skin complexions and then the other one is for medium deep um skin tones so yes this palette is gorgeous though like these the one thing i can say is the reason why i really wanted to just get this the minute it came out was because all the shades look chocolate girl friendly as people may say you know <laughs> um it looks friendly it looks chocolate girl friendly it doesn't look like the colors are going to be ashy and i can actually i feel like the contour is actually going to be deep like i'm waiting for the contour because i feel like these are all going to be all right for me but what about the contour sweet what about the contour the contour <laughs> okay so in the palette you get um a highlight a blush a bronzer and a contour and it retails for 10 pounds it also says i like reading these out because i like to know why the person made it and why you know why the consumer would want to get it and you know what kind of draws them to it because i know i was really drawn to the, to the whole collection to be honest with you from the packaging to the shade range to all of that stuff um it says here i'm so proud of my face palettes because i've always wanted to make cheap product suits um to dark and skin dark and deep skin suitable to dark and deep skin tones i can't speak today i really can't speak girl <laughs> um they allow you to achieve the perfect cheek combination of bronzer contour blush and a highlighter while also being compact enough to travel with which it does and a handy mirror i will say the pan sizes are big and it is travel friendly as well you can see that um so i'm gonna just go in like let's just start let's start i'm gonna go in with contour next i'm actually kind of quake i'm quaking i'm quaking in my boots because guys when i first started doing makeup i literally the thing i used for contour was you know those um those sleek palettes that came out the little um the pomade and the little powder that came you know for the eyebrows girl i had to use a powder that came with the eyebrow thing. girl I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say like it worked but it feels nice having like something that has everything in there so i'm looking by the blush that's nice and red looking at the blush it's got me thinking that i could use that for bronzer but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna wait <laughs> and then yeah oh my god you can clock my lace oh my god don't come for my lace girl i'm gonna use stippling motion because yeah oh she is deep <laughs> she is giving contour for sure see this is weird because i'm so used to the other contour i was using and by the way guys i didn't i haven't been using this deep thing for like two years now um what i did use for contour was a cast box that concealer but not in deep cool it was in the shade espresso i think it was a darkest shade in there i don't know how to act she 
she looks good i'm just happy that it don't look ashy and i can actually see pigment you know <laughs> like that's what i was really looking for i was really looking for that this is nice because this is really giving me contour okay sweetie okay i'm just gonna do the other side i don't know if this is gonna show up like really harsh on camera but like oh wow well, we already went all out with the eyes anyways we might as well just continue the theme <laughs> by the way guys i never contour my nose so that's not gonna happen by the way guys i'm gonna sit under my eyes again don't worry because i hate the way under my eyes look right now but i'm trying to ignore it but i have to look at my face like i have to <laughs> even though i don't contour my nose but i just like going here because it was really light here there was still concealer there from when i did my eyeshadow so we're bronzing next buy it already on the bush i can tell this is gonna be a very it's got like sort of purple undertones i don't know how this is gonna be okay pigmented i'm gonna i'm gonna just put some on this side okay yeah this is this this is very this is giving me genie just got punched in the face this is <laughs> <laughs> this is oh my god it's really pigmented okay we're gonna just distribute her so that we can get her off the bush <laughs> oh gosh oh i mean i'm not complaining dang oh my god she's giving me i didn't think that was gonna happen oh my god i didn't think that was gonna happen oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> Oh my god, do I look crazy? Like, I don't know if it's showing up crazy in camera, but it's crazy in real life. Like, I'm actually... Oh my god. Okay, it's okay. I'm I'm actually... Oh my god, I look like a... My cheeks already look rosy. I'm scared to even add blush now. Like, I'm actually scared. <laughs> I always make weird noises. I don't know what that's supposed to change, but I'm just gonna try something. I'm gonna do the blush when I put um, my lashes and everything on. So we'll come back to the palette. I'm gonna finish under my eyes. Jeez, the palette really just punched me in the stomach. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what shade am I gonna go in under the eyes with? I don't know what I'm gonna do, sweetie. But I think, I think, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm just gonna be a basic hoe. <laughs> and just use the purple under the eyes i'm just gonna use pressure pressing motions after i've put some on okay okay she's giving it she's kind of giving something she's giving something for the girls i don't think we need an inner corner yeah we certainly don't need it in the corner for this like i'm trying to like do the most and like put so much things on my eyelids we're not we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that okay so lashes are on mascara is done so we're gonna go in with blush now um i normally use the same brush for bronzer than i use for blush but this bronzer i'm glad i went in okay i'm saying i'm glad i went in with a little bit but it kind of like i was kind of scared because like it was gonna go overboard but i like it I kind of like it. It's kind of a vibe. <laughs> Why am I looking like that? It's kind of a vibe. Period. Oh, she's red. She's she's gonna give it. I know she is. Are you ready? <laughs> mhm. Mm yep. I knew it. This is really cute though. Like this whole look is like so. Okay, I want to say it's out of my box. But is it really out of my box if I'm always doing colourful looks? But it, this is like the most extravagant look I've ever done. I've never... Girl. <laughs> I've never gone this overboard with anything. What the fuck? <gasps> oh. Oh my god, guys. This is like... I haven't even like... Like, that's... I haven't even put that much on the... Bro <laughs> Big smile, sweetie. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay, I tried to mute it as much as I could. I tried to mute it as much as I could, but this is a lot of product. But at least we know on the bright side using it that it's actually gonna like show up and we don't need a lot of product to actually get the results we want but i'm actually kind of scared i'm scared to even post this video now because like i look like i've just i've never <sighs> okay okay last but not least is the highlight the highlight looks very 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 golden i've already swatched it and i can tell you it is very golden <laughs> i'm just gonna swatch it first actually i'm just gonna swatch it here like I you don't even need to swipe a lot like i don't know if you guys can see that but it is very you, oh wow yep yep 
she's giving gold she's she's giving luxury she's giving expensive she's giving do not touch she's giving exit the room security's coming she's giving she's giving what she's giving i'm kind of scared oh my god okay you know what? oh wow i'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight on i'm like i'm dead ass like you know i'm being serious when i start saying dead ass like i'm de <laughs> oh my god i'm scared I don't want to. I don't want this to go overboard. That is so golden. That is super golden. Like, oh my god. I hope it's not coming up like a really like just a long line on my face. This okay. I have a bone to pick. Not a bone to pick, but like this is something that like I think people are gonna want to know. <sighs> These palettes are lovely, but I will say this is not me complaining because I know this is gonna sound like a complaint. I think I've just, I've never had products like this before where like I've used it and like you really have to be careful how you're putting it on and where you're putting it on because there's certain products where it's not really like that, like boom, like scary. And it's fine because like you can just keep building it up where you want to build it up. But with this, I kind of feel like it's just like bam, like it's just right there. Like all four of these things are right here. Like girl, I've, my face has never looked like this before and that's not like that's not a bad thing i just mean it's kind of scary like how much product okay i just got distracted by her like oh that looks so good it's just kind of scary that's what i'm gonna say it's scary so the lip set comes with two lip glosses and a lip liner and it, they retail for 10 pounds oh my god i don't know what lip to go for I think, I'm, I think I'm already know what I'm gravitating towards. I'm just gonna give you guys a swatch of these shades because they are both nude. Um, one is like a, like a, just a nude nude. And then I say nude nude. <laughs> and the other one is more like a pinkish nude. It's more like a pink nude, so. By the way, they're both sheer lip glosses. That is so satisfying. You know when you just pull that little zipper? This is really creamy. Okay, that's actually quite dark. Ooh, that is quite dark. Okay, so this is the lip liner. Oh, that smells like that candy when I was a child. Well, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not 19, but still. I'm, oh, that smells good. That smells good. The shade I've just swatched first is called Gone Rogue. And then the next one is called Muse. I really like both of these. I don't know what shade to use. Oh my God, I don't know what shade I'm gonna use. Oh my God. <laughs> this shade is Muse. So, I like both. All right, we'll figure this out. We'll just figure this out all together. Like, you guys are gonna go on this journey with me. Oh my God, I have to do a thumbnail. Please remember to do a thumbnail, Jeannie, thumbnail. Oh my God, okay. See, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this lip liner was not gonna be dark for me. And I'm just gonna put the lip liner across my whole lip. It makes for a really nice brown though. Wow. <laughs> okay, actually, um, I really want to do this nude. I'm really hoping that it looks nice on me because I swear to God, I'm actually kind of scared. Like, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I've never done a nude like this before. Oh, please. This is a nice nude. Okay, I'm kind of scared because I've never done a nude like this before and I feel like it looks good. We're just gonna roll with that. Okay guys, that is a look complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the way the look turned out. I hope you also enjoyed the way these products performed. I really, really, really love like everything from this collection. I'm really liking this. In terms of the way the, girl, in terms of the way um, the lips turned out, it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel thick, it doesn't feel like heavy, it doesn't feel just like not nice. Um, so that's a good thing because I really hate thick lip gloss and I know like there probably is other people out there that are the same as me and hate. Like I don't know when girls say, oh my God, it's really thick. Like I don't like thick lip gloss. I don't know how you're like, you know what I mean? Like why is, why is it looking all stringy? Like it doesn't need to look, it don't need to look like that. <laughs> anyway, um, I can't look at myself, Jesus Christ. Everything is just like, I think I was, I'm really scared right now because everything that I used was just like showing up like straight away. Like I literally did one dab in the blush, one dab in the highlight and it was just like there and I'm kind of like, I'm kind of shook. Cause at first I really was thinking that I'd like really ruined the whole look and it just didn't turn out nice. But like, I don't know. 
I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it, girls, girls, girls and boys. I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> also, for once, for once, I've got my foundation matching. My favorite out of this whole collection is the eyeshadow palette, like I'm point blank period. Like I just knew it was gonna be when I first set my eyes on this. Like, oh my god, like I'm so happy that I've got another palette now with other colours to use other than the James Charles palette. Like now I can actually mix and blend and do what I need to do. <laughs> I really think Tammy did a really good job on creating this collection, and I'm really, really, really impressed, especially with the face palette as it is like what it says and what it's supposed to do like it's supposed to work on dark deep skin tones and i think it really did that everything was literally a1 with this like a1 like the highlight is definitely for deep dark skin tones the bronzer the blush the contour especially like it's it's there you know that's, that's what we want we want it to be there <laughs> like so i'm happy and i'm really happy i'm just happy like this is re a really good collection and i'm glad now i've got another contour blush everything else i've got new things to use now so i'm really happy with that so yeah and i love the lip gl the lip glosses are really really nice like they feel really comfortable like really really comfortable um the shades are really nice in these as well um and i'm, I'm, I'm kind of gassed because i've never done a nude lip like this never and I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you want me to create another look with this palette. I actually am dying. I think I'm going to do one anyways. But I'm dying to do another um, look with this eyeshadow palette. Because it is gorgeous. And there's so many things you can create with this. Like, are you seeing this? Are we, like, seeing it? I think we're seeing it. <laughs> Anyways, let me go because I'm actually being really annoying. <laughs> so yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below for more makeup looks, vlogs, all that good stuff. And yeah, my Instagram and all my information will be in the description box down below. But if you can't be able to look at the description box, my Instagram is eugeniairish.x. So yeah. Um, yeah. I actually want a cup of tea now. <laughs>